Good evening, girlies, or good morning, good morrow, whatever is up to you. I hope you're having a fantastic time. Now, this is a video that's been so long overdue. I have been living in Lucien Yaks for the longest time. I don't know why I haven't done a video on them, like, ever before. Um, I know I used to do, like, my mid-size tries, like, maybe like a year or two ago I used to do them quite a lot and Lucien Yak never came up. They're definitely a little bit more expensive, um, that they are more sustainable as a brand and I won't lie, they are me in a brand, like I absolutely love them. This t-shirt is one of the things that I absolutely love from them, it's one of my first purchases, um, but I basically thought we would go through my current Lucien Yak collection maybe. A couple of bits I got from Vinted, a couple of bits I bought direct from them when like new collections and things have come out and I thought we could go through them together. I can talk about sizing and things like that because especially if you haven't bought Lucy and Yak dungarees before or like boiler suits, things like that, I feel like a mid-sized girly like me who has a size 14 top and a size 16 bottom, sizing anyway with a brand that you haven't shopped at before but then also with the idea that it's obviously a more sustainable brand and it's more expensive you might not want to drop double the price on something and buy two sizes if you can't afford that because obviously I know the boiler suits and jumpsuits and things like that they are a lot more expensive um but yeah I thought we could delve straight in and I could show you guys the bits that I have got there are two pieces that I've gotten from Vinted I will go on with those first because they're in the wash currently so I can't show you them so I'm going to quickly go over them one of them is a pair of the dungarees I haven't ever had a pair of dungarees these ones are like the limited edition 2020 ones found them on Vinted they were like 30 pounds I was like what the actual hell click add to car quick before they get sold they were such a stunning stunning floral print i had to get them i literally ran as fast as i could i'd spent too much money on vinted this month but it was absolutely sensational i love them it's so autumn winter as well like the colors you can wear so many things underneath them absolutely love them and then i also got this other gingham play suit it's a jumpsuit isn't it they call them jumpsuits it's green gingham it's so so stunning i thought to myself i absolutely love gingham when it comes to the summer so I definitely will get a lot more wear of it in the summer but I wanted it for the longest time it's one of those things that like I really really wanted it but I was like nah Abby don't need it again found it on Vinted what can I say I'm an impulse buyer I really am as soon as I saw it I was like well I'm never gonna get it this cheap again because it's on Vinted I got it and I'll wear it to death in the summer I will say it's a little bit more baggier though literally the reason for this video is because I got the dungarees in a size 16 in the Lucene Yaks and they're like a regular length as well. I could probably have gone for going for like a petite or a short length and then the Lucene Yak checked thin jumpsuit, that's the one it's called. I got that in a size 14 and it's actually baggy. That's why I wanted to do this video. It wasn't even like fitted on my thighs. There was just a lot of room. I think because I am short, I don't know if they do like petite versions in the thin. Like I didn't know, I won't lie, I wasn't looking. You know what, I'll link everything that I spoke about and if they do a petite or a long or a tall, should I say, then I'll, I'll pop down below if it says petite or if it says they do tall as well, then I'll let you know. But yeah, I feel like I needed a longer body for it because it was just really baggy in some places. I'm not sure. I think I might need a little bit of uh, reassurance. Obviously, I've styled it for this video, so do let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a hit or do you think it's a miss? Like I said, I know that I'm not going to get anywhere out of it. I know that it's basically November and I'm not going to get anywhere out of it. Well, I might if it's a little bit warmer in some days. Like, I might wear, like, a long sleeve top underneath, like, a, just, like, a white one. It might work, but I'm definitely thinking it's going to be a spring summer those were the two that i wanted to briefly speak about before i delve into the actual ones that i have physically with me not in the wash first thing i wanted to share with you guys is this top i absolutely love it the way that i love long sleeved like multi-colored long sleeve tops is absolutely sensational i love them so much and as well this one has the little like lucy and yak um sticker thing here 
and it's so so cute so i have this in a size large and it actually fits perfectly like it's washed really well as well like a denim jacket over the top or obviously like when it gets a little bit colder i've got a couple of like puffer jackets that are going to match this colorway like i've got green red i've literally got red and green puffer jackets as well like a black puffer jacket this just goes and it's just such a nice pop of color um and you know that i love color so this is just like it just really fit into my wardrobe perfectly and whenever it's in the wash i'm always sad that it's in the wash as soon as it makes its way back into my drawer i wear it and then i end up wearing it all day and getting smelly and i have to put it in the wash and it's so annoying because it's like well i want to wear it more than just once but i can't because i'm just so stinky <laughs> psa abby stinks you heard it here first abby stinks i don't i don't i just Maybe I do. And then one of the next bits that I wanted to mention was this gorgeous jumpsuit, boiler suit. It's actually from my friend Lucy Wood's collection with Lucy and Yak. It, uh, mate, when I found out that she was doing a collection with Lucy and Yak, I was like, well, Lucy, Lucy and Yak, obviously. And uh, well, I saw this and I screamed. The scream that I scrumped was absolutely a violation to be honest it was spectacular she looks absolutely sensational doesn't she yes she does and so it kind of well i won't lie this is just a stunning color i did think to myself would i enjoy it on me i'm not sure if like this sort of like boiler suit vibe would work for me i have already got the short sleeve version love that but i wasn't sure if i'd vibe with this colorway or if i'd wear it as much but you know what i have and i love it a lot and i feel like maybe like the human like real life version of Velma or something I don't know I think it's stunning and spectacular it's so cool and I love this little like belt bit in the middle as well so it will kind of like cinch you in a little bit and it's got pockets here I got it in a size 16 and it actually fits perfectly I love it so so much it's stunning and the material as well isn't too thick the length on me as well is perfect I think I say this in every video but I am five foot four um and this one was perfect for me it just doesn't, it doesn't say if there's like a long sorry tall I keep saying long long and short I don't know if there's a long and short version I just love that and this like collar and the way it's a zip Lucy and Yak do this very nicely I enjoy the fact that they have a zip rather than buttons i have a jumpsuit from monkey i normally i do rate monkey and that that's not shade that's not shit this isn't shade monkey but what i will say to you is that next time you create a stunning hello next time you create a stunning jumpsuit you don't put buttons on it because then what happens is when you sit down all the little bits come out but your, t your buttons pop off and you're exposing yourself to your nan that definitely didn't happen to me. I don't know what you're talking about. You guys should definitely go and check out her collection. It's so, so cute and so autumnal. It's literally her to a T. Yeah, go and check it out and go and shop it. Love you lots, Lucy. You probably won't watch this. I don't know if you will. If you do, hiya. Not you watching one of my YouTube videos. We. Okay, these two are like recent purchases. The boiler suit and then this. <laughs> the amount of ads I got for this before I bought it on TikTok. They knew they had me. They knew they had me and they, they really did. It's so, so stunning. It's this gorgeous like pink and green, like flared or like, is it wide leg? <laughs> wide leg, but wide arms, wide armed cardigan. It's so, so stunning. Look, look at those colors. Sorry, you don't know if you can see them properly. I don't know if they're gonna come up on the camera very well. Look, look how stunning that is. I absolutely love it. When I saw it, I was like, well, pink and green are my colours. I actually got a size medium in this because I wanted it to kind of be not too oversized. I don't always like my cardigans to be too oversized. I keep thinking that my hair is part of the plant and I keep like going to smooth it down, but it's not. My hair's not a plant, clearly. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Again, you've got the little Lucy and Yak branding there and it's just so, so flipping nice. Again, it's just me to a T pink and green the florals it's giving kind of like retro vibes i don't know i just love it i absolutely love it i love the fact that although they've got like the neutral queen vibes they've got the blacks they've got the basics they have got such funky colors and they work so so well and the colors are just correct you know when sometimes you look at a color and you're like oh, i wish it was like more of a green or darker or lighter or whatever like the colors that they pick they're sensational fab five stars from me five stars across the board i've worn it like five or six times 
I love it a lot. Don't worry, I haven't had to wash it yet because I didn't stink when I wore them. That's gonna be a thing now, it's gonna be a thing. If you've come from YouTube over to Instagram or TikTok, put a comment on one of my videos going, God, but it she looks stinky. I'll know you've come from YouTube. Oh my gosh, now these are so, so flipping cute. These are like the wide leg, oh, what are they called? When I talk about them, the names will be here anyway. These trousers, again, they're sort of like those 70s retro, Floral print, I absolutely love it. I love the colours. Again, me to a T. What's it got? Pink, green, yellow, green. I said green already. Purple, yellow. I said yellow already. But they're just my colours. And I love it. I wore these so much in the summer when they come out. And you know what's absolutely fantastic, actually? I didn't mention. They've got elasticated waists here. Like the whole thing isn't elasticated, but these little bits on the corners are, but they don't make them obvious, which is so nice because sometimes, have you seen those like jeggings or sometimes there's like jeans and they have that elasticated thing that's around the whole waist and it looks quite interesting. It really does. It looks, it's not a vibe. But these, they're discreet. They're at the back, so you don't even know they're there. When people look at you from the front, they don't see these either, so therefore they're discreet and they're fantastic. I got them in a size 34. I think a 34 waist is perfect because actually when you sit down or like if you've eaten food or something like that, you don't feel like you have to undo them because it expands with you throughout the day. I love that because that's what they should do. That's what clothes should do. They should move with you throughout the day. They should fit for you. That's literally what everybody and their mum bloody says. They fit for you and they fit throughout the day. They're fit for purpose. So you can literally cut about your day and not think about them until someone says, oh my God, I love your jeans. You go, yeah, they're sick, aren't they? And then you'll remember that you're wearing them. And they've obviously got the pockets at the back. You've got the little Lucy and Yak branding there. And they've also got pockets. I wore these so much in the summer with my um, yellow denim jacket that I got. It's from Stradivarius. You might be able to find like some similar ones on Vinted or something like that. I know there was like those Topshop Moto. Are they like M-O-T-T-O? The Moto like, do you know like the denim range from um, Topshop? They had like the Moto stuff. I know they did have a like, yellow denim jacket. I don't know if you could find things like that on Vinted, but it would match. You've also got like the purple and the green. like. You could just match it, coordinate, it'll be spe spectacular. If I had any jumpers in these colours, you know what, you, I bet your ass, I bet your entire asshole that I, I would be wearing these in the winter as well. But I don't have them currently and therefore I can't wear them because like, I need them to coordinate in my brain. Like I need them to, you know. And then last but by no means least, this was actually my first ever purchase from Lucy and Yak that then led to the many, many others. And it's this. When I bought this, everyone said that it looked like I should be in the Barbie film because like, I look like I should be a Barbie. Is that a plumber? A Barbie plumber or a, me a mechanic? That's it, Barbie mechanic. And it's this gorgeous blue, red and orange leopard print boiler suit. And it's so, so sick. This really screamed at me. It really did. It literally screamed from the high heavens. I got it in a size 16 and it's just stunning. Again, it's got this zip, which is absolutely phenomenal. I love the fact it's got material. So it's like, it's not going to like clip you on the way up or the way down on your skin. You've got a little pocket here. Here it is with a little Lucy and Yak yoga. yoga logo again what i love about this is although it doesn't have like a belt or anything to cinch you in at the back you've got some elastication on the waist and again it moves with you throughout the day and i like the fact again it's at the back so like not everybody's going to see it like i mean they could and from the back it just creates a really nice silhouette so like they wouldn't care because <laughs> you'd be looking spectacular do you know what i mean like it's it's not obvious in there and in your face it's just such a nice shape and they've got the pockets at the back as well for you as well as the front when they do it they do it so well so i got a size 16 and again it doesn't say anything about um lengths again i think this one might need to come back out again in like spring summer time because i'm not sure how i could wear this for the autumn winter i don't know maybe i need to have like a little bit of like a 
a brainstorm but I don't really have these colours in like autumn winter forms like I have the pink converse and things like that but I don't have like a pink or a blue or an orange jacket do I no I don't no I definitely don't I'd remember I have actually seen people wear long sleeve tops underneath these so I'm not sure if I could buy maybe like a colour that would go with this maybe like a baby pink um or like a baby blue or a baby orange those vibes and like wear it underneath I have got like a white and a black. I could try it with the white and you could see what you think. But I feel like the white might be too, make me look too pale. I'm pale at the minute, I haven't faked tan for a long time and it's taken me a little while to think that I enjoy it. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if it would go with this, but I feel like with others, because obviously I'm gonna buy more. Like I love them. I have fallen in love with Lucy and Yak and it's really like a brand I bloody love now. Like I can't believe it's taken me this long to like find them, love them and share with them with you. Um, but yes, I have accumulated these, like don't get me wrong, I know they're expensive. This has taken me a while to accumulate and therefore come up with a video with you guys sharing them all. Like it's literally taken me, like I think my, when did I buy that? May or June time? So like over the course of like five or six months, I've been accumulating these like once a month actually no i bought those other two pieces this month so i love it though you know what if there's a brand that is you to a t and you love and the colors are you you ain't got no problems you know you really haven't got any problems i hope you guys did enjoy this have you guys ever shopped anything from lucy and yak before are you going to check them out now have i introduced them to you or are you literally like yeah ab like well done let me know let me know down below have you bought from them for years and you're finally like yeah get with the program do let me know down below and without further ado i'll let you guys get on with your days i hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know as always if there's any brands that you would enjoy me to um like do a video on like i'd always I, i'm always up for like a little challenge ab try x brand ab try y brand like i don't always want to do the same videos trying the same bits from the same brands do you know what i mean like i love to switch things up before i digress any further i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week smash a like if you enjoyed this smash a like smash a like and subscribe and stick around love you lots speak to you soon uh, bye bye